Surface Technology specializes in electroless nickel plating as both a manufacturer of EN plating solutions and as a plating job shop. Our solar-powered, zero-discharge facility has been awarded top shop honors by products finishing magazine seven times. We are pleased to share the best practices from our top shop. In this video, we demonstrate how to strip and passivate an electroless nickel plating tank. First, with this and all procedures, it is important to read all safety data sheets and procedures for the safe operation of the chemicals involved. Proper environmental, health, and safety procedures are essential. After the EN bath has been removed from the tank, rinse the tank to remove any residual bath or debris. Stainless steel heaters and any plastic and tank equipment like pumps, spargers, pipes can be left in the tank to also get stripped and passivated. Then, make sure any valves on the tank are closed. Pump or drain in a 40 to 50% solution of nitric acid in water. The nitric acid solution should have the proper acid concentration and no more than 3 ounces of nickel per gallon. If the nickel concentration is too high, the nitric acid solution will not be effective in stripping and passivating the tank. Fill the tank to a level above the normal bath operating level. Once the tank is filled with the nitric acid solution, leave it in the tank for two to four hours at room temperature. Pumps in the tank can be turned on to circulate the nitric acid solution to ensure that the insides of these pumps and pipes also get thoroughly stripped and passivated. But filters should not be used during this process. If the tank is heated by an external heat exchanger, it is recommended that the pump for this heat exchanger also be turned on without heat for some or all of the time to ensure it is also fully stripped and passivated. It is best to have at least two electroless nickel tanks, so while one is being stripped and passivated, the second tank can be used for plating. When the stripping and passivating is complete, carefully remove the nitric acid solution from the tank. Return the solution to proper containers that are well marked. It is important to remove all of the nitric acid solution from the tank and then close any drainage valves on the tank. Next, fill the tank with water. Tap water at room temperature is fine. You can use the same water multiple times to rinse the tank if you drain the nitric acid solution from the tank very well to avoid contaminating the rinse water. Once the tank is filled with the rinse water, turn on all agitation in the tank, including air agitation and pumps. Be sure to rinse any heat exchangers as well. It is important to remove all traces of nitric acid from the tank since nitrates are a contaminant to electroless nickel baths that can cause poor bath performance and defects in the coating. Adding about 3.5 milliliters of ammonium hydroxide per gallon of rinse water will also help remove any residual nitric acid. Let this mix in well. After 10 to 15 minutes, remove the rinse water by pumping or draining into an appropriate and well-marked container. If it is still relatively clean, you can save the rinse water to use again. Finish by spraying the tank with deionized water before filling the tank again with the electroless nickel bath. The Surface Technology team hopes this video is helpful to your best practices of electroless nickel plating. For more information, please see the websites and YouTube channel addresses listed on the screen. By subscribing to this channel, you will be notified each time we launch additional videos. We also invite you to contact us for any additional assistance you would like regarding electroless nickel plating, single component one plate solutions, and composite electroless nickel with materials such as PTFE, diamond, silicon carbide, boron nitride, and more for advanced performance. In addition to the resources in our plating shop, manufacturing operations, and R&D laboratory, Surface Technology is supported worldwide by an outstanding network of distributors that can provide one-plate solutions, as well as other chemicals, equipment, and plating services. Our products are made by platers, for platers. Thank you.